us win! Take as much as you can carry! We need to leave before sunrise. Fated the Silent Oath review for the PlayStation VR. Let's begin! This game is essentially a walking simulator, so with that in mind, we are going to start the review by looking at how immersive this world is. The story, without giving too much away, is that you are a father on a journey with your family, and something may be behind you. At times, the family did seem believable and relatable, such as when the daughter is catching a lift from her mother. The characters you meet look like they have been ripped straight out of a fable game, and their voiceovers are very well done. At no time did I think, oh, that voiceover didn't suit that character. No matter the cause, if help will not come to the people, then we must bring the people to help. Ka, ka, least been alone. Ka, don't climb that tree, lift. Sometimes the characters wait for you to respond to a question. You reply by either shaking your head up and down or left to right to represent you saying yes or no. This is a nice little feature and makes you feel like you are being noticed in the game. I did find the music cue that lets you know when you have to respond slightly distracting. I would have preferred the developers to have had a bit more confidence that I was following the conversation and knew for myself when to respond. There was quite a few moments when you can see where you need to walk to, so you look around for some sort of entertainment only to find not much going on. However, the scenery does do a decent job at giving you some pretty vistas to look at. You can raise your arms using the L2 and R2 buttons. It's a simple mechanic and does allow for some comical moments. Oops. Sorry. Ultimately though, it makes your body feel stiff and gives the impression that you're commanding a puppet. The music is fantastic. It blasts in or softly joins you when you reach main parts of the story. It's very epic and goes a long way to help immerse you inside the location you're currently in. There are some gameplay elements in this game, so let's take a look at them now. The majority of the time you will be pushing up on the analogue stick, but now and then you will need to press another button. Without revealing too much, you do come across a couple of puzzles. It was nice to have a change from the walking, but they're really easy and you have almost certainly solved a puzzle very similar to them before in another game. There is a few other gameplay mechanics, one in particular involves a bow. Just don't expect very much action with it though. What controllers can be used with this game? Let's find out. I played this game just under 2 meters away from the camera, in a seated position. The character you play as stands and sits down during the game, so there isn't really one definitive position to stay in if you want to copy the person you're playing as for that little bit more immersion. The developers have included many different types of cages that you can turn on or off in case you do get motion sickness. I didn't feel sick during my playthrough, but I do have quite a strong stomach when it comes to moving around in VR. This game can only be played with a DualShock controller. The move controllers are not supported. How long is this game and what will you be rewarded with? Let's find out. There's a prologue and four acts for you to experience. This took me around an hour and 45 minutes to complete. Once you have beaten an act, you can replay it from the chapter select screen. You're given two options for each act here, on whereabouts you'd like to begin from. Sadly for me, there was only one exciting part of an act that I would use this feature for. There are five trophies you can obtain in this game. This includes one bronze, one silver, and three gold. You will achieve them for just seeing the game through to the credit screen, as the trophies are given out during each act and are unmissable. That just about covers everything. Now it's time for the third it. I do love the occasional walking simulator, when they are done right. There are some fun moments to be had in this title, 
but you have to spend most of your time with a lengthy and boring introduction. Once the game does pick up the pace, it just suddenly ends. It ends like this because it's the first episode of a series. The ending is very random too. Unlike Telltale's games where the story had been given a lot of thought and a reason to be left on a cliffhanger, this one does not. It just throws something at you from out of nowhere. Beep, your thoughts? But it's a walking simulator. Thanks Beep! Overall there are some high quality moments in this title, it's just tedious getting to them. If you want to go on an adventure in VR with a pretend family that you do start to care for by the end, then at this moment in time you can't do much better than Fated, The Silent Oath. I give this game a score of 7 out of 10! I tell you, we're being punished. For what? You think the gods care what we do? We need to leave before sunrise. That should be just about a... Oh, sorry B. Did I startle you? I was just trying to get into character a bit more. Beep, no, put the bat down, beep, beep, beep! 